Bakit maraming brands ang nagkiklaim na paraben-free? And are they better than those containing parabens? Also, meron bang mga risks associated with using products containing parabens? I have been asked about the safety of parabens in skincare products so many times that I finally decided to make this video. What are parabens? Why are they in skincare products? And is it safe to use skincare products containing parabens? Those are the questions I will attempt to answer in today's video. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Gator Bredovitas and I am a board certified dermatologist. I try to post at least one video a week all about skin and skincare, so if you're into that, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe and the bell button over there to get notified every time I post a new video. Let's start with what exactly are parabens? Parabens are odorless, tasteless, colorless, or white crystalline powder derived from 4-hydroxybenzoic acid or para-hydroxybenzoic acid. Parabens are the most popular preservatives used in cosmetic, medicines, and food, probably due to its high chemical stability within a wide range of temperature and pH and its resistance to hydrolysis. It also doesn't cause much reproduce, is effective even at low concentrations, does not discolor or harden, is biodegradable, non-mutagenic, and has a low incidence of sensitization or allergenic potential. Now, what is the main function of paraben in cosmetics? Meron ba talagang benefit pag dinalagay natin siya sa skincare products? Like I mentioned at the start of the video, parabens are used as preservatives in skincare products. They are antimicrobial, keeping fungi and bacteria from growing in a product. The more common parabens used are methylparaben, ethylparaben, butylparaben, and propylparaben. Because antimicrobial activity varies among parabens, often more than one paraben is used in a product and they are also combined with other chemical preservatives. Sabi nila, using multiple parabens in low concentration actually gives a better antimicrobial activity. And the most common parabens that are paired are methyl and ethyl parabens. Importante ang preservatives in skincare products. Without them, madili silang mga contaminate ng bacteria, fungi, yeast, molds, which can lead to spoilage and wastage, and even increase the risk of infection. Ngayon, siguro yung tanong nyo kung importante yung preservatives and parabens are preservatives, bakit maraming brands ang nagkiklaim na paraben-free? And are they better than those containing parabens? Also, meron bang mga risks associated with using products containing parabens? For many years now, parabens have been labeled as bad, Due to research suggesting that they can cause health issues like breast cancer, um, infertility, disruption of the endocrine system, allergenicity, to sabi nila may negative impact din daw to sa environment. And these claims are said to be backed by published data. But there are several issues in the published data that make these claims inconclusive. For instance, in the issue of carcinogenicity, in a 2004 study, they reported parabens in the breast tissues of women diagnosed with breast cancer. However, hindi naman nila ito kinumpare dun sa tissues of women without breast cancer, and parabens were also said to be found in non-tissue, for example, yung mga instruments used in the study. So, they merely showed a correlation, but was not able to prove that it was indeed parabens that caused the breast cancer. In a 1998 study naman, they found that the most potent of all parabens, the butyl paraben, is weakly estrogenic in rats. Even then, it has 10,000 to 100,000 fold less estrogenic activity than endogenous estradiol or what we have in our bodies. In some studies naman, they used very high concentrations of parabens, sometimes up to 100%, and did not take into consideration how parabens were used in cosmetics and skincare products, which is usually less than 1%. And in other studies, parabens were either injected or fed to lab animals, which is of course not how we use it on skincare products, which we apply on our skin. These issues on parabens have been reviewed by the US FDA Consumer Ingredient Review and the European Commission and the Scientific Committee on Consumer Safety, which both stated that parabens are safe to use in food, medications, and skincare products when used at a concentration of up to 0.4% or up to 0.8% when a combination of two or more are used. 
In Europe, propyl paraben and butyl paraben are also considered safe for as long as the sum of the individual concentrations do not exceed 0.14% and this is due to their weak endocrine modifying potential. In 2014, the ASEAN Cosmetics Committee banned the following parabens in cosmetics. Isopropyl paraben, isobutyl paraben, phenyl paraben, benzyl paraben, and pentyl paraben. And in adapt nila yung European recommendations in using other paraben and paraben derivatives. So, if merong mga ganitong classing risks, why don't we just use other preservatives? Pwede naman. The problem is, many newer preservatives do not have the long record of safety and efficacy against microorganisms as parabens. In fact, some may be irritating and cause allergic reactions to the consumer. And now, for the million dollar question. Is it safe to use parabens in skincare products? Or is it best to avoid them altogether? I honestly think that this issue has been blown out of proportion with parabens being victims of well-meaning but incomplete and misguided information about the possible side effects they may cause when used inappropriately and in high concentrations. In my opinion, and hindi lang ito true for parabens, as with many things that we apply, eat, or drink, it's the dose that makes the poison. Yung amount of parabens na makikita nyo sa mga skincare products natin are well below the threshold that many institutions have set. Of course, I still think that larger scale studies are needed to really evaluate the possible health risks that parabens pose in humans. But ultimately, it's really a matter of personal choice. In conclusion, for those of you who are uncomfortable with using products containing parabens or if you don't want to risk getting all the side effects that were published in the studies, then look. And syempre, kung may allergy ka, huwag din. But for those of you who are using products containing parabens like myself, I recommend not to use many products containing parabens simultaneously. So that's it for my take on parabens. If you have any questions, if there's more information you want to add, or if you want to share your experiences, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. And of course, if you find this informative, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you again soon. Bye!